guys and welcome back. This week I'm going to be switching things up just a little bit. Usually I do the full completed try hard illustration on Saturdays and a lighter, more topic specific piece on Wednesdays, but I am actually doing a collaboration on Saturday and that's a little bit more like what I do for my Wednesday videos. So today we're getting into a full completed illustration. And as usual, I'm working with watercolors and I will have all of the tools and everything that I'm using down in the description. So if you're curious what I'm using, I've got it listed down there. But today I had a very specific idea of how I wanted to execute this piece. Uh, I didn't have an idea yet of what the topic was going to be, but as I was sketching things out, this one came pretty fluidly, which was exciting because most of the time I have to really fight to get an idea that feels like it's worth pursuing. And this one by no means is complicated at all, but the fact that it was just a really pleasant piece to sit down from start to finish was really a breath of fresh air. Sometimes it can feel a little daunting when piece after piece, I feel like I have to struggle to get an idea and then I struggle with each step of the way, but this one was really enjoyable. And the thing that I wanted to focus today was working looser. So this is something that I have almost no practice in. And I think it's easy to get into a mindset of when you're trying out new things to feel like you're bad at it. I know that I get that way sometimes. Like if I'm trying out a new medium and it's just not working for me and it feels like I'm just bad at this medium, I should just give up. But the thing is, is that I haven't put any practice into that. So of course I'm not gonna be good at it. All the other things that I feel proficient at, it's because I put in a lot of work. The Like watercolor, when I first started art, out. I had a lot of pieces that were failures or ones that I learned a lot from because I made mistakes. And it's easy to get caught up into comparing what you're doing new stuff with, with the stuff that you feel a lot more uh, proficient. As I said, you feel a lot more comfortable with what you're doing. And I know that that's something that I think about a little bit when I'm trying to do looser pieces because I'll start doing it. And I'm like, no, I'm not good at this. I can never get it to look right. And I can never get it to look right because I always bail before I finish it. I don't put in the time and the practice it takes to get better at thinking more loosely. So that was really what I wanted to try to get out of this piece. And for the most part, I think it was a success at least at pushing me in that direction. But I think the one point that was kind of nerve wracking for me was right when I was switching from working on the thumbnails into working on the final. And like I mentioned, this piece was surprisingly pleasant and I didn't overthink it too much, but that was because I was constantly reminding myself to loosen up, don't overthink it, don't stress myself out. And it helped, it definitely helped me look through it and enjoy it. But uh, moving from working on the thumbnail into the final was scary because working on those little thumbnails, I could get very expressive brushstrokes because I had this little tiny painting and a relatively large brush. So it was easy to get that. And really quickly it had life and energy and it had this look that I wanted. But when I was transitioning into the large one, I knew that it would take a lot more courage and larger strokes to get that same look within my finished piece. And I think that's definitely something that I can improve on in the future is using, like I said, a little bit more courage in each brushstroke that I take if I want to emulate the looseness that I got in my thumbnails. So I, I was a little bit more timid with the brushstrokes when I went into the final one because I didn't want to mess it up in one, one errand brushstroke. But overall, I think that it was helpful for me to put those fears in check. When I was about to start, I felt myself getting nervous. I was tensing up. I was afraid that I was going to ruin it right when I was putting the water line around her face. And I just had to remind myself if I stress out, if I overthink it, and if I worry that I'm going to mess it up and that I'm going to be too loose with it, then it will be a self self-fulfilling prophecy. I will make it that way. I will be so tense that I will mess it up. So, I let those feelings go and I just went right in with it and I just started working into it. And yeah, it is definitely a lesson that I need to learn is to be able to loosen up and be able to be objective when I'm working on it because that is necessary to be able to create a good piece, to look at it and know what's working and what's not working. But I also need to be able to 
not be so critical that it'll keep me from using larger brushstrokes or making those choices that need to happen. And I think the, the biggest thing that I need to learn about being loose is to get a little bit more practice in there because I feel like there are times I want to put something into effect and I do it very quickly without really thinking about it and it ends up being the wrong choice and really I think that just comes down to practice me learning how to do the right brush strokes and how things will affect it and once I have that language down that understanding I'll be able to implement it quickly and easily once I'm actually working on a finished piece rather than feeling like I'm not sure if it's going to work and then doing it and doing it wrong. So really I just need to get better at making quick decisions, but knowing that it'll work well. And the only way that I can know it's going to work well is if I've done it before. So it all comes back to practice. And I think that really the key for me getting better at working loosely is finding a balance. It's all about balance for me. I can't, I don't think I can go in and just very loosely by the seat of my pants, paint it and get everything to look right. I need to be able to know what steps I'm going to do and what colors I'm going to use and how I'm going to layer it to be able to get a piece that looks good and not muddy. So I have to be able to balance it out to figure out, okay, how can I plan this out while still having it look very organic and loose? And again, that's just something that I'm going to have to learn. I'm going to figure out. Uh, but one of the things that I know can be a problem because I have done it many times is when I'm trying to be more spontaneous or loose, sometimes it can get very muddy when I'm doing watercolor paintings and muddiness can come from several different sources. But one of the big things that I can do when I'm not thinking it very clearly from beginning to end is I can layer too many contrasting colors. And then once I do that, it gets a very desaturated, muddy look to it. And I got a little, just a little bit of that within the lower part, the water area where I just had layered lots and lots of layers. And mostly it was okay because pretty much everything that I was using down in the lower half of this painting was blue based. And that really helped it from getting overworked and over muddy, like I said. Um, it can help when it's just you're basing everything off of one root color. That way everything doesn't spread too far out and then desaturate it in a way that you don't want to. But yeah, this is just something that I'm going to have to get better at knowing how much planning can go into it while still keeping it loose. And I think the looseness needs to just come from the execution, from the brush strokes and the planning can be all the colors, all the layering, everything beyond the actual execution of it. And then the final step was adding this white gouache. And this is one of the areas that I really almost overworked it. It's just like right on the brink of way overworked. And again, that is something that I struggle with a lot when I'm working loosely is I have a hard time setting a limit of when to stop. And then I oftentimes push it past the point where it looked good. And this white gouache, I would put it down and then I got this black uh, brush pen out and I started covering up with that. And it was this push and pull that ultimately got really muddy. And luckily I was able to soak that area and lift a lot of that off. That brush pen that I was using was uh, water soluble. So I was able to lift some of that up and some of that gouache. And then I went back in and created just a much more opaque layer of the gouache, the white gouache on top of it. And that really cleaned it up and that helped it from looking too far gone. But that was an area that if I could have been more planned out and thought out how I was going to do the surface of the water, it could have really improved this piece, I think. So that's one of the areas that absolutely could have been better. And I could have thought it out through better and executed it better, but there's always going to be those steps that it's uh, something that I can learn from and I can improve on. But yeah, the way that I was going to execute the surface of the water absolutely could have been improved. And that is it for today. I have a quick announcement for the winner of the giveaway, which I had a little over a week ago, but the winner of the original painting is Shelly N. So congratulations. I've already emailed her and I'll be shipping that painting out to her within the week probably. So expect that pretty soon, Shelly. But the other two winners, I will be sending emails out for the second and third place, which is just a gift card to my art shop. So keep an eye out on your inbox and you might receive a little gift card, a little present. But 
<sighs> for this painting. I really loved working on it. I absolutely know there were a lot of areas that I could have done better, but that's the thing about practice and about learning new things is that there's going to be things that you have to see what you mistook for and made mistakes and be able to figure out how to make it right. Uh, but I think that it'll really help me liven up future pieces, having the skill of being able to be looser with my brush strokes and looser with the way that I execute it and to be able to still get a piece that I like. So this is a skill that I will be absolutely practicing more of, but as always, I do have the original painting available at my art shop. So if you'd like to own her, I'll have a link down in the description and I'll have a link in the end card that'll happen in just a second. And I do post every Wednesdays and Saturdays with art videos. So I'll see you guys at my next one.